This is uh, the new Vericam uh, out from Panasonic. Um, just to give you a little bit of history, Vericam came out around uh, 10 to 12 years ago. Um, at the time, it was really groundbreaking because it was the first camera that would undercrank and overcrank like film cameras. We made big ground into natural history at the time, uh, getting involved in some large productions like Planet Earth and Frozen Planet. And we've done uh, some small costume dramas and we're now looking to progress uh, the market as we go through. We have two offerings. We have a 4K with a PL mount using traditional 35mm lenses. And we have a high speed, which is a high definition, two third inch mount. The main difference, apart from resolution, the 4K will record up to 120 frames and the HS will record up to 240 frames. The Vericam itself is a modular product. We have two offerings at the front, which is the camera side, and then we have the recording device at the back. So whether you're shooting with HS or with the 35, the recording unit is the same unit, which enables the cameraman, if he's out on a shoot, actually to have two cameras with him. If he wants to use the PL mount for that shallow depth of field, he can. If he wants to then change it to a long throw two third inch lens, he just changes the front end of the camera. Now we spent a lot of time working on 3D. And what we came out with with 3D was a, a semiconductor called Dynachip. And what the Dynachip allowed us to do was to record two streams at the same time. We've now inserted the Dynachip into the new Vericam, allowing us to actually supply a dual, dual record. So that's two records at the same time. So if you look inside the camera, we have various offerings when it comes to the card sizes. We have the P2 size, we have the micro P2, and then we've got SD card down here for proxy. So the recording, we can actually offer a 4K 444 on ABC Ultra. You record it at V-Log, so it looks very flat, and then you have a lookup table. When those two go into the post house, those two files will be connected so that they can do their grades. We can also supply an HD daily. This is 1920 1080p. We supply it with a uh, Rec 709 wrap around it, so a grade for television. And because it's full HD, it means you can transmit it. The reason why we're doing this is the 4K image, when it goes into the post house, obviously is going to have its grade laid down when it goes in. So we're supplying an HD daily for the DOPs, the directors, and maybe the producers, so they can actually see what's been shot that day. Then on top of that, we also have an SD card slot here where we can record a proxy. So that's three recordings on one camera all at the same time. A unique feature for any 4K camera that's out there. On top of that, we have uh, our control panel, very easy to use. This is removable. We can actually take the, the control panel off. It has a cord that we attach to it. You can then hold it in your hand or you can move it around to the other side. Now one of the things that's come up in 4K is how difficult it is to keep focus. So we're supplying a brand new OLED viewfinder. And on here we have two rings. The first one is obviously to focus for the eye, but the back one is so that you can actually zoom into the image that's coming through the viewfinder and allowing you to get closer to your focus. This viewfinder can also be flipped. We can go over to the other side. So if you want to get all the operation on the opposite side of the camera, the image on here will automatically flip over. So to go with the three onboard recordings, we've also been working with a third party called Codex. Codex have created a raw box to go on the back of the camera. It's exactly the same profile as the Vericam. It connects on the back with no cables, so it makes it very neat and enabling you to record 4K RAW straight onto a hard drive. So the Vericam image is a very important thing to talk about. And the reason why we had so much success with it was because when Vericam came out originally, and we were tape based then, the image was very filmic. So with a new offering from Panasonic, I believe that we can now penetrate that top part of the triangle. This is the large costume dramas. This is the large productions that have cinema release. So I believe with the new Vericam, the legacy continues.